the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 46, Numbers 7 to 8, without the lavish clause. After all campus were ready, the leaders of 12 tribes offered the same offerings, and the Levites offered wave offerings. First point. For 12 days, the 12 tribes of Israel opened a festival for offering. After the first round of census, the Israel nation established their tent with the tabernacle at the core of their grounds. Once this was settled, the 12 tribes of Israel all came together to make an offering to God. Each tribe came and made their offering in order, and they furthermore decided the logistics behind moving the tabernacle. As such, the 12 tribes of Israel were able to experience the joy of giving to God. This was similar to the giving made by the Israelites when the tabernacle was built. The rich are not to give more than a half shekel, and the poor are not to give less. When you make the offering to the Lord to atone for your lives, receive the atonement money from the Israelites and use it for the service of the tent of meeting. It will be a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord making atonement for your lives. Second point. The twelve tribes of Israel offered their offering with the moving ark that was to be in use for 500 years. Out of the tribe of Levi, the descendants of Goshen had two wagons and four oxen. The descendants of Merari had four wagons and eight oxen. And for the descendants of Koath, they had to carry the ark on their shoulders, and so did not have any wagons or oxen. The tabernacle now became a moving ark, but when it was being moved, it had to follow three procedures. The descendants of Goshen had to fill the cart with their two wagons and four oxen. The descendants of Merari had to fill the cart with their four wagons and eight oxen. The descendants of Koath had to use their shoulders. Not only that, the descendants of Koath had to use the material given by Aaron to cover the content within the holy place. Later on, we see that when David failed to follow these procedures, it ended with the death of Uzzah. Third point, the Israelites lifted up their hands to bless the Levites. The twelve days of the twelve tribes of Israel offering came to an end. Now it was time for the tribe of Levi to come forward and for the remaining twelve tribes to lift up their hands and bless them. To close the ceremony, High Priest Aaron came forward and emphasized the tasks that were involved in being a priest. For the remaining 12 tribes of Israel, the men between the ages 20 and 60 had to serve for a kingdom of priests. But as for the tribe of Levi, their serving ages were 30 to 50. The reason they started later and retired early before others was because their tasks were so intense. Fourth point, although it was the job of the descendants of Koath to move the ark using their shoulders, they were not allowed to go inside the most holy place. Within the tribe of Levi, unlike the descendants of Goshen and Merari, the descendants of Koath were not given any tools but had to use their shoulders to carry the ark. 
But more importantly, although they were the ones who carried it, they were not allowed to sit inside the ark. God warned that they would die if they saw it. As such, 2,750 Kohasites were counted to carry out the law of transporting the contents inside the tabernacle. Every Israelite had a law in the kingdom of priests, but the law of the Kohasites were exclusive. Fifth point, come close to the holy place, but always be careful. God ordered for the Israelites to build the tabernacle and throw the five offerings. Anyone was able to offer to God and to ask for forgiveness. But it was important that everyone was careful near the ark. The reason God appointed the tribe of Levi to be on standby 24-7 near the ark was to ensure that there would be no accidents of people seeing what was inside. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.